just to introduce myself, I'm um, Jess King. I work for Eden Tree Investment Management, which is a um, investment managers, but we have a really strong focus on responsible investing. Um, we're a charity owned company, um, which kind of plays a massive part into um, how we do things um, with a big focus on making sure that we, we're giving back. So um, I wanted to talk to you all today about a recent, I'm going to kind of focus on a recent social media campaign that um, I carried out or we carried out um, during last summer. So I'm just going to share my screen. So please give me a thumbs up once again. Um, if you can see my slides. Um, there we go. Can I, can they be seen? OK, great. So. Um, so, yeah, my role within the company is I'm marketing executive. So um, last year we wanted to carry out um, a social media campaign that was a sort of brand awareness piece um, that also used our partner that the company um, works with, who's a uh, Olympic swimmer named Alice Deering. So just a bit of background, Alice is um, was the first female black long distance swimmer to swim for GB. And um, the company partners with her because our ethos is performance with principles and Alice is performance with principles. She does a lot of work on um, diversity and inclusion. And, you know, she's obviously the performance, which is the swimming and the principles, which is a lot of the charity work that she does. So she um, co-founded a charity called the Black Swimming Association, um, which essentially um, looks to get black and ethnic uh, and people from disadvantaged communities into swimming and and funds this. So um, we wanted to build out a, a campaign, a social media based campaign that utilises the partnership with Alice um, that also can um, spread some awareness for the Black Swimming Association, the charity that she works with, um, but also just kind of encourage participation and positive messages um, around swimming and and being active and getting people um, in the pool during um, the summer. So um, I'm not sure how many people have heard of a social media platform named Strava, but I'm just going to actually skip off my slides and show you the campaign page. So Strava is a social media platform, which is essentially the only one that I know that have kind of it's it's kind of prominence that is um, you know, where you record your swimming activity, you record any sort of physical activity on. And um, it's, it's a little, you know, some people use it for competition, some people use it for tracking, some people use it for motivation. But one thing it does allow you to do is it does allow you to create challenges. So um, it will have a challenge page and anybody can go onto the challenge page and um, kind of click to participate in the challenge. So we um, essentially worked with Strava to create this swimming challenge over the course of the summer, which was um, in July. It started in July and spanned for a month, which was um, a year until the Paris Olympics last year, if that makes sense. So obviously Paris is this year but, and this was um, the year before. Um, so, yeah, motivating swimming for a great cause. Um, we called the swim challenge the Big Swim um it was called the Big Swim Challenge with Eden Tree and Alice Deering. So if I just jump back to the slides, you can see um, this, this was our kind of logo and this was our branding that we used throughout. So this is Alice. And unfortunately, I did have a little video to show you that introduced Alice and the swimming, but um, I'm not going to be able to show that as um, Teams isn't letting me share it. So what I'll do is we'll drop that as a link and you can watch that kind of, you know, maybe um, for anybody who's watching on demand, watch it first. And it just gives you a little bit of background on the challenge. So the, the target was swim um, swim 50,000 kilometres collectively over the four weeks. Um, and if we hit this target, it would unlock a donation um, from Eden Tree to the Black Swimming Association. So what we were really asking people for was group participation. So, you know, that could be me swimming um, one kilometre, it could be me swimming 500 metres. But all I needed to do was to log that on Strava, the app. And collectively, that made this 50,000 kilometre number. Um, 
so what actually happened was was amazing was that we actually had massive participation more than what we could have ever dreamt of and smashed the target of 63 um got 63,685 kilometers over this four week period and um because we had such good participation and we had um and smashed the kind of the target the our parent company i, I know i mentioned before with with charity owned actually doubled the donation that we were able to give um to the black swimming association but i just want to kind of now there's a bit of background into what the campaign was i'll just dive into the different social media platforms that that we use and, and how we use those um so you can see here as I, as i mentioned before we have we use the same branding um kind of this image of alice throughout um, and we launched it on Strava. So Strava was our base of the challenge and, and where we hosted it. Um, you know, without Strava, we wouldn't have been able to host the challenge. So that was kind of our staple, you know, social media platform, if you like. Um, because we are a um, investment management firm, usually our main social media platform that we use is LinkedIn, which might not, you know, I think, you know, from a personal level, I tend to just use LinkedIn from work, but I'm sure many of you will agree that, you know, it's not your kind of go to fun social media platform. And given the nature of this campaign, um, which was more fun and was more, part, you know, big on brands and big on participation, we wanted to branch into some of the other platforms that maybe on a day to day basis wouldn't be our first point of call. So, of course, we had our Instagram, um, we used Twitter or, or X. Um, we used YouTube and we used um, a platform called Teeds. We also used Facebook as well, which for some reason I've forgotten to put the logo on this slide. Um, so if I just jump to the next slide, I put some numbers on on these just and I can just kind of talk through um, how we used each platform. So um, LinkedIn is obviously the hub of, of where we tend to use, um, you know, it's our main platform that we use as a company at the moment. So LinkedIn was reaching out to that network that we already have, um, more or less, because, you know, we we all we post on here regularly and we have that community of people that we post to. So um, we posted a variety of content. Once again, I, I plan to show a couple of these clips, but I'm not going to be able to. But we had um, we used video. So we, we did to begin the campaign. We had a big video of Alice that was her introducing the campaign and what we were able to do throughout and used on social media was make these kind of this bigger video which started around one minute 20 into much smaller clips so like 30 second 20 second clips which we used on LinkedIn um, throughout the campaign um, we also used static posts which you can kind of see here this was this image and this was all just to promote the campaign um, and you know encourage engagement um, I mean this is you know just, just you can just see the numbers here that we put some pre-challenge and during challenge numbers um, on this slide and you can and you can see um, you can see the numbers increasing. Um, likewise, with Twitter, Twitter was massively successful for this campaign. Um, largely, you know, we do have a presence on Twitter. We do use Twitter already, but this was such an engaging um, an engaging campaign that, you know, it reached an audience that we wouldn't have maybe hit, hit into um, had it been something a bit more corporate. What was also really good about Twitter in this campaign is, is that Alice um, herself, I, I suppose, if you wanted to look at her as a sort of influencer, she has her own Twitter account and her own social media platform and presence. So she was able to, you know, reshare and repost a lot of our posts on Twitter. But you can see the numbers here, which is massive. And we had a really high engagement um, from the content that we produced on Twitter. Um, once again, this was, you know, short video clips and, and um, kind of the images. Um, but it was it was it was really well received. Um, not to mention that the Black Swimming Association themselves, so the charity that we were, and um, the end goal was to give the money to. Um, they also have a Twitter presence, so you know they were able to retweet us and things as well. Um, oh. There we go. Um, so yeah, I mentioned we use Facebook and Instagram. So with Instagram, you know you've obviously got. I'm sure most of you have an Instagram account or a Facebook account. I'm not talking that we were just posting on our Instagram grid. Um, I'm talking about, you know, when you're scrolling through Instagram and you get these kind of sponsored ads that come up. So, you know, it might be um, 
I don't know, could be anything, could be something that you talked about during the day and, and it kind of pops up. So that's what we tapped into here. It was these sponsored adverts. So this would have could have been you could have been scrolling on your Instagram and, and, and an advert like this would have come up and that was promoting our big swim challenge. And if you clicked on that, that would have taken you through to um, the Strava landing page um, that where you could then enter into the challenge. So once again, this was a platform that we hadn't really tapped into before, but once you can see the numbers here, it was really, really successful and kind of targeted, you know, the different types of people that we would usually be going for. Um, and, you know, given the nature of, of this social media campaign, it was it was really important to get that different level of participants. Um, so Instagram is really helpful for this. Likewise, with with Facebook. Um, and that was through paid marketing as opposed to organic, which is what we call when, you know, I would just go on LinkedIn or Twitter and, and create a post myself. So this is this is paid. Um, similarly, we used YouTube um, and the, these what, what we used here is um, once again, I'll add the link so you can see the clip. You know, when you're trying to watch something on YouTube and you get that little 30 second or short um, video that comes up at the start that, you know, it gives you the option to skip after 10 seconds or something. So that that was what we did here. And that was this small animation that we created um, demonstrating the big swim. It was it was like you can see that see a little bit in the screen here. So we had this image of Alice swimming across the screen and the information coming up with a link that would allow you to click through. Um, so those were the platforms that we use. Similarly, Teeds is very similar to how YouTube works. It flickers on at the start of videos, but it's that that's on kind of um, videos that you might find across other um, just on the web as opposed to just being on YouTube. Um, so these were all the platforms that that we used and each had, you know, different elements of success. And by by using so many different platforms, you reach different audiences. So, you know, Instagram typically is going to be maybe your younger audience that who are kind of, you know, the likes of me who are sitting on an evening scrolling through Instagram and thinking, oh, yeah, OK, I use Strava and actually I might go for a swim and might want to click through and do this. Whereas LinkedIn might be more your, um, you know, somebody, somebody who's more professional, more corporate scrolling through or looking through and it might come up during their, their day at work. So different audiences um, are likely to come from different platforms. And of course, you know, I use a multitude of platforms. So um, you could also see things on multiple platforms. Um, let me just, what does it seem to like? So yeah, just back to the campaign and just kind of to talk through um, how, the success of using different platforms and how you can create a social media campaign is we actually had massive participation. So 15,622 participants and it was global. So it went across, all, you know, it went through. We had um, a not massive number of companies, um, companies, sorry, of countries. And these were the top ones that um, where people were engaging in it the most, um, which just really goes to show the power of social media um, as we were, we were, you know, obviously totally overwhelmed by this as well. Um, so I think what's, oh, let me, let me go back. Yeah, so I think what's kind of key to take away here and what I just kind of wanted to emphasize is, you know, this was a, a campaign or a, an idea that was created around wanting to donate money to charity, essentially, while also creating some brand awareness for the company Eden Tree and also kind of leveraging, you know, doing that by using um, Alice, who is the Olympic swimmer. But I suppose, you know, in, in kind of the purpose of this, she was sort of our influencer, our figurehead. And by doing by doing that, you know, we we created a social media campaign using um, loads of different platforms to get this messaging out. You know, the messaging being um, it was get in the pool, get swimming and kind of you know save lives which was our sort of messaging because you know the black swimming association is is providing um lessons and educating about swimming to um disadvantaged um individuals so that was the kind of you know the ethos around it and and by having this um by having the social media campaign it did that it spread it spread awareness it got people active in swimming and it and it also allowed us to give this big donation to the charity, which, you know, hopefully has really made a difference. Um, 
so I hope that was interesting and, I, and if you've got any questions please do let me know as I said there is a couple of um video links that um we can set up for you to view as attachments because I think it'd be good to kind of um help with the understanding of the campaign and you can see the visuals around Alice speaking and and some of the graphics that we um the graphics that we use but um yes please do let me know if you have any questions